My name is Jason James, graduated from Parkway West, 1996. Now I'm the head basketball coach at the University of Tennessee at Martin, in Martin, Tennessee. Uh, it's a Division I school about three and a half hours from St. Louis. I've been there nine years, spent seven years as the assistant coach, finished starting my second year as the head coach. And so it's kind of been kind of a long haul. We're just trying to get things rolling and starting a bunch of new programs in Martin with the kids and the D.A.R.E. programs. And we do coaches versus cancer and just the whole realm of everything of coaching basketball and kind of teaching young men how to be adults. Well, it sounds like you're, you're teaching them how to give back to their community as well, which is very impressive. Yeah, that's important. It's important to me uh, because c growing up at a young age in St. Louis, uh, I had a lot of people give back to me. And, and that's kind of how you keep things moving. You know, we, we, we teach them each one, teach one. Uh, what you've learned, you, now you have to share it to the next generation. And we try to teach these young men that they're role models and young people are looking up to them. And you have a standard you have to keep and you have to hold, but you got to do it every day. It's not just a sometimes thing. And I learned that at a young age, and hopefully these guys can help somebody else to be better in what they do. Well, that's very impressive, very commendable. Thank you. What, um, tell us a little bit about your career in Parkway. Where'd you go? How did, how did your path in Parkway um, lead you to maybe where you are now? Uh, I spent four years at Parkway West. I played football and basketball. Played football for Coach Wolf. Uh, didn't have a very good team, but got along really well with the players on the team, and that helped me as I became a coach to know about camaraderie and, and know about teamwork and how people can stay together and get through tough times together. Played basketball for Coach Bill Soderman, and you know, there are a lot of things that went on in my four years that I agreed with, but there are some that I didn't agree with, and I kind of draw back on the experiences of the things that when the times were tough to help me now. Uh, there are a lot of times that our young men don't agree with what I'm saying, but I look back on the times with Coach Soderman and the talks we had that helped me relate to them and communicate with them. And that's one of the biggest things I learned as an athlete at Parkway West is communication. You have to learn to communicate with your athletes. Uh, you have to learn to be patient with them, but they have to know where you're coming from. You have to set the, set the expectations very high, but you got to voice those expect, expectations. You can't just assume that they know what you want from them. And I learned that probably my freshman year playing for uh, Coach Soderman, and I just took it from there. And, Help me where I am now. Fantastic. Well, where did you go after Parkway West after your senior year? What, where was your uh, next adventure? I went to Graceland University, a small school in Lamoni, Iowa. Played basketball there, studied four years, uh, physical education and health degree. I had a coaching endorsement. I coached a little seventh and eighth grade football team, a little seventh and eighth grade basketball team. And, and I really enjoyed myself. Got to know people, kind of got out of my comfort zone which is something I'm drawing back on now, trying to teach our young men to get out of their comfort zone. Spent four good years, left there, went back to St. came back to St. Louis, taught a year at Ladue High School, and coached at Forest Park Community College, coached basketball, and then taught a year at Rittner Middle School, and did the same thing, coaching part-time at Forest Park Community College. And so just the whole realm of everything kind of pointed me in that direction. You know, I, I kind of learned at a young age at West what the kind of impact a teacher can have on your life. I had a lot of great teachers from English teach, from English to history, and I can name some of them, but those people impacted me and who I am, and I learned the basics of it at West. I got to Graceland, they kind of perfected it and well made, it, made it more well-rounded, but by the time I was ready to teach, man, I felt like I had a good grasp on what, what needed to be done. Well, with the times changing and, and all the new things that are out there uh, to, um distract students. What's some good advice you could give for students in Parkway based on your experiences and your successes? Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest things for me is uh, pay attention. Put your cell phone down. And, and I know when I was growing up, cell phones weren't as prominent as they are now, but there were other things to distract us. I mean, we had different games and different things you could happen in classroom, but if you would put your cell phone down for just five minutes and pay attention to what that teacher is saying, Man, you'll learn a lot from them. And, and I remember a biology class with Mr. Callenshrew, where he was really, really funny and really, really outgoing, but I had never taken the time to really pay attention to what he was saying. But when I did, I learned a lot. And as when I got to college, all that stuff was second nature because I already knew it because I, I took the time to learn it from him. And so my biggest piece of advice is give the teachers a chance. I know that a lot of times students think teachers are a little older and, and they don't really uh, know where the students are coming from, but all teachers have been there. They've been there in different ways, in their own way. They can help you, but you got to give them a chance. Open up your, your, your heart, let your guard down, and uh, be willing to learn from them because they got some stuff to offer.
That's great advice. Sounds like you feel like you had a, a pretty nice, firm foundation from Parkway West to take you off to college. I think so. Uh, I, have five, I have four brothers. All five of us graduated from Parkway West. So I saw it at a young age as my brothers became mature, more mature as they left high school and went to college. Uh, when I got there, I kind of was already halfway through it. Man. I knew what to expect, but the foundation that I got at West, both in the classroom and on the court, Man, it helped me immensely. I mean, it helped me in my life. And I still draw on those experiences with Coach Soderman, with Mr. Collins and some of my other teachers that helped me in everyday life. Well, it seems like they certainly had an expectation for you, and it seems like you've met it very well. I try to. I, I try to every day. So it sounds like you're proud to have graduated from Parkway West? Oh, very proud. Couldn't, couldn't be prouder uh, to be from one of the Parkway schools, obviously, but... Uh, Parkway West is, is that's my home. I go back any chance I get. My mother still works there. I, I go talk to Coach Wright when Miss Plunkett was there. I mean, every chance I get a chance to walk through those halls, I go because th there's a saying that says you can never go home again. Once you leave West and you get out into the world, it's all different. Uh, it's never going to be the same again. And so I like to go back to remember what it was and help me stay grounded and help me stay humble and hungry.